All righty, Alex, how are you? How are you doing, No Lux? Doing good, doing good. I'm feeling good after the duel. The fifth duel will be Lion Gravity. In Lion Gravity, players will compete in two matches on a 6x6 six six board to earn the highest score. I have a little bit of a reputation for Connect Four. I used to play it after school every day, and by the time I was nine years old, I had solved the game because I've solved Connect Four. What I'm going to do is just try to force Shub into making moves that I know would be really good for me. Nolux has won the duel and advances to the next round of Gambit Game. But I also know that I made a huge mistake before the duel started. The only person here who would have picked me is Nolux, actually. I wouldn't have picked you. You want to know who I would have picked? Yes. Alex. Why? Why? Regardless of everything that surrounds that, I think I put us both in a really weird spot because I know I've had people come up to me trying to throw you under the bus. I'm only assuming you've had the same to you in regards to me. And people are really set here to just have one of us lose, duel the other one, and everybody else gets to skate to final five. So. This is not something you have to agree to, but if I get a mark of victory, it's going to you, and I'm gonna try my best to make sure that you win this trial if I don't. I think we just have to be our own best allies right now because it's very clear that Spicy and Zach are gonna have each other's backs no matter what, they are together, and who knows what Joey's ever gonna do. And Grunkle's not gonna win, probably. this. It could always happen, but Grunkle's definitely a solo player. All right, you can you can bring in the dancing lobsters now. <laughs> we've uh, I feel like we've we've gotten on the same page. Yeah, and uh, we'll do our best. I got no clue what what we're type gonna of win. Game. That's what we're gonna do. Whoa, whoa, looking very tropical. You know, tis the season, I suppose. Everybody's looking nice today. Lux looking exactly the same. Alex with a different background once again. You know, you can have your fancy schmancy stuff in your, in your room, but I'm just gonna be moving around in different places every week. <laughs> Wait, hold on, this is weird. For some reason, Alex still looks more different than Spicy does. Hey, Joey. what's up, Joey? Yeah, what up, boys? Ready for a uh, video game here? It feels like we have a lot of rooms for just six people. Zach, wake up! Wake up! Zach, wake Five up! Five more Zach. minutes. No! It's latest for you! <laughs> I'm trying to sleep! What do you oh want? My God. <laughs> We want to introduce you to the seventh trial of Gambit Game. Last week, Spicy won the trial, with Shub and Nolux facing off in the duel. With Shub's elimination, that brings us down to six players. The Light Spirit totals are as follows. Nolux has 16 Light Spears. Joey has 13. Alex has 10. Spicy has 8. And Grunkle and Zack both have 6 Light Spears. I will now introduce the seventh trial. The seventh trial is Gift Exchange. In Gift Exchange, each player will receive a gift and must exchange their way to the one containing the marks of victory. The possible items inside each gift are as follows. Nothing, one light spear, two light spears, three light spears, four light spears, five light spears, and two marks of victory. Every player will be given one of these gifts and be privately told the gift's number which is a number from 1 to 6, along with a unique clue regarding the original contents of the boxes. After this, each gift will be moved to the gift room, where each player possesses a private locker that cannot be accessed by players until the game ends. When the trial begins, players will be permitted to exchange gifts at any time. 
There will be three rounds, each lasting 15 minutes. If two players want to exchange gifts, they must clearly announce it to the dealer in their room. Once confirmed, the gifts inside your private boxes will be exchanged by the dealers. This will not be announced publicly, and players will be not told the number of any of the gifts they receive. However, upon the contents of the lockers being exchanged, you will receive a photograph of the new state of your locker so you may confirm your possessions. There are three stipulations regarding trading. One, a player cannot trade with the same person more than once over the course of the trial. Two, players may trade any number of times over the course of a given round. Three, if in a round a player does not trade, the light spirit in that box decreases by two and the any marks of victory in the box decreases by one. Players may purchase an additional hint regarding the contents of the gifts for five light spirits. At the end of the third round, the player who opens the gift that originally contained five light spirits and the marks of victory will be the winner and receive any marks of victory that remains. All players keep any light spirits in their boxes. The player who opens a gift that has nothing will be the first duelist and must select someone else to take to the duel. So I suggest the one that starts out with nothing that is that sends you to the duel. The player who at the end of the match opens an empty gift will be sent to the duel. If there are multiple players who open a gift that has nothing, then the player who opens the gift with the marks of victory will break the tie. How can there be more than one person who has who opens a box that contains nothing? Because if you don't trade your box during a round, the number of light spheres in it decreases by two. So theoretically, all six boxes could be completely and totally empty. I guess, like, can a box go into what is technically negative light spheres to, to claim a loser? So they just zero out? Negative's not possible, the lowest is zero. And so Gary, sorry, just to confirm, so when I trade my boxes with someone, I, do I find out what's in that box or just that the trade happened? You will only receive the image of the gift. Uh, do we have any additional questions? Okay, and then if not, you can be on your merry way. Grandpa! Oh, oh hello! Hi, oh. I was lamenting about being on my own and now all of a sudden, whoop! This is a weird one. I don't really think that there's too much that we can do with this one until we know the clues. I mean, I'd assume, I guess, that Joey and Spicy might do what Joey and Shub did at this point, um, if they're talking with each other, but I kind of drew up this anti-Spicy, anti-Joey sentiment. Oh, wow, Spicy, you know, says that he's against Joey, but is clearly working with Joey and clearly tight with Joey. Shub was the person who I wanted to go in because Joey, I can work with. You have to, you have to go for five and we can help you with that. Joey scores five points in the round. By just two points, Shub is first duelist. Because the one person that I know who has got a tendency to lie is Joey. And I mean, Spicy also, but Spicy, I consider a very close ally. But I think we're getting to the point now where everyone's games are becoming more and more individual. Like, we need to ha trade with at least three people. There are yeah. four of us here. We could just... Yeah. Oh, that's true. If we don't trade with them, they lose. If we just say, Grunkle, I'm trading with you round one. Zach, I'm trading with you round two. Alex, I'm trading with you round three. Me, Grunkle... No Lux and Alex, we work together. We share our boxes with, between ourselves. And then Joey and Spicy trade with each other. And then they are stuck. Whatever's in their boxes quickly whittles away to zero. Assuming that all of us trade with each other, then none of our boxes will lose in light spheres. So only the one box that starts empty would be a problem. Like, so that kind of ruins the entire strategy. If the empty box is within us four, then one of us four will be guaranteed to lose. That part's awkward, but it's, it's a good plan to start with, to say that we had just planned our trades while they were away. Can I just speak quickly before anyone comes in? Alex, your order. Grunkle, one. No Lux, two. Me, three. Grunkle, your order. Alex, one. Me, two. And then No Lux, three. Hello. So this is where everything 
your intent is skip four contains either zero, four, or five spheres. And your gift that you received is one. All right, um, I will now say a hint out loud verbally. Your hint is... And you received gift number two. Spicy, did you make it to the dealer room all right? Yeah, yeah, but there's there's more concerning things on my mind. You think your clue is wrong? Uh, I was thinking that uh, I would be getting a clue like the triangle has no light spheres or, no, you know. Absolutely, no, there's no way they'd make it that easy. Yeah, what are you dumb, Spicy? Come on. <laughs> spicy, are you dumb? Wait, guys, is Spicy dumb? I might be, I might be, I might. I, cause I went in there and dealer Maddie had a stroke. Uh, I will not read your hint out loud. Your hint is dice, mice, ice, ice, vice, advice, nice, nice, niece, nice. Like Spicy walked into the deal room, picks a letter, and Maddie's like, "All right, Spicy, here's your clue." Turns on the webcam, just goes like this. Well, no, she had a stroke. Only like only one hand would go up. I had hoped that clues would be legible and understandable. I got dice, mice, ice, ice, vice, advice, nice, nice, niece, nice. Zach, you look similarly dismayed as I was. Yeah, I have an arts degree. I have a languages degree. The fuck is this? Dice, mice, ice, ice, vice, advice, niece, ni nice, nice, niece, nice. Nice, nice, niece, nice. Nice, nice, niece, nice. Nice, nice, niece, nice. Dice, vice, dice, mice. Dice, mice, ice, ice, vice, advice, nice, nice, niece, nice. The final six trial gift exchange will now begin. Nice, nice, niece, nice. Spicy got a crazy clue. I can say that I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten words that all rhyme with each other, but almost all of them are different. And I have no fucking clue what any of them mean. We all have clues about how the boxes relate to each other and stuff. You guys have clues about how the boxes relate to each other? You got a big puzzle piece, Clue. Zach, since we're gonna trade, let's go to the arcade and we can we can discuss what we're what we're working with here. Cool. Okay. All right, Alex, let's let's just let's cut the shit. I'll just tell you what okay. it is. And so spicy. How many times does ice get said in your clue? Your hint is, if the word ice is used exactly five times total in all player clues, including this one, then gift five has to be spears. Otherwise, gift six has to be spears. I, I need to know an exact number amount of ices in all of the clues. <laughs> How many times does ice get said in your clue? Two. Yours is weird because you need to have like people tell you what their clues are. Do you wanna do you wanna trade our presence just so we can get it over with? Um Yeah, hold on. And we had this plan to shut out Joey and Spicy. I, I was obviously still going after Spicy. Okay, you wanna try and use like an alliance because like obviously you need to trade with a certain amount of people. So like you right. need to have faith in the people that you're trading with. Yeah, Zach and I said we were going to trade for round one. You're so. going to trade round one without even like revealing what you have or what? So, Nolux and Zach, you're going to make a trade. I'm not totally sure if this plan is going to work. I trust Alex. I trust Zach. Grunkle is a little bit of a wild card, though. So, if you want to swap boxes and then see what, what's up, like, I'm down to do that because, like, Realistically, I, I mean, think like thinking, right. We need to understand that if we switch once, we can't switch again. And like Grunkle, I'm good with. But if I looked at that four, is he definitely the odd person out? Yeah, probably. I'm kind of getting the feeling that you don't particularly trust me just for week one, which is like totally fine. Like I've told you that you probably think a lot differently of what actually happened, which is whatever. 
So considering we're least likely to trade with each other, it's better that we just trade with each other first round without having any knowledge. And that way you get one trade down, you don't need to worry about round one, and you already have more information. And we've like been able to like use our relationship as well as possible for, for probably yeah. this game. Sure, sounds fair. I don't know why that strategy made it as far or as prominently as it did. I never had any intention of following through with it. We're gonna trade boxes. I trade with Joey. Trade with Uncle. This strategy can't really work because there's always just a chance that they have the winning box in the first place and then we can't really do anything about it. But I've got a plan set with Grunkle, Alex, and Nolux. And I'd like to be able to trust them. They're all trustworthy guys. <laughs> what 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 gift do you have? I have gift three. I do have gift five. Yeah. Oh wait, so I actually I no longer have gift number five. Joey has gift number five. I now have a gift which I don't know the number of. I used to go and do my trade. I will be back. Sounds like a plan. Uh, <laughs> I thought I had a really good pre-game, and then it's kind of been blown out the water. Is he ever going to come back? It's been like a whole ass minute. I'm dipping. What happened to coming back? Well, we're just we're just touching base. Oh my god. I'm already being betrayed. Well, Grunko, you you've switched the plan already. What do you mean I've switched the plan already? You've made trades outside of that four. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I made a trade instantly. Yeah. So that that's going to that's going to make it more difficult to box out Joey and Spicy. Well, boxing out them would never be a valid plan in the first place. The only reason that plan would be good is to make sure that we don't have a box that gets traded down to zero. But boxing people out is not effective. My pre-game strategy and actually what transpires are completely different from one another. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 no, we're not doing that anymore. We're just, we're talking to Joey and Spicy all of a sudden. So what I did was I traded with Spicy the first round. Um, Spicy are gonna trade. Guys, this is a bad plan. Round one is over. All players have traded successfully. I was basically just untouchable from a social perspective. I wanted to still be like in with the people who were initially playing that strategy out, but I also still wanted to have like some kind of reach to Spicy and Joey. So it turns out no Lux and Zach and probably Alex are kind of pissed at me because apparently they really wanted to stonewall you and Spicy out of trading in the first place. You want to stonewall me and Spicy? Okay. Bizarre. I would agree. They haven't really liked you or Shub for a good while now, but I'm surprised oh, okay. they're being this aggressive about it. Uh, but how the hell do we actually get out of this in I any way, shape, or form? Uncle, do you mind telling him what you told me? Oh, yeah. Uh, Alex, Zach, and Nolux were trying to stonewall you two out of trading. Me and who? Uh, you and me and me. you and Joey. They were trying to make it so that neither of you would be able to trade more than once and potentially just trade like. Uh, hey, can I talk to you in detective's office? Yeah, right. That's what I said. That's that. That's not Joe. Uh, Zach is. I think Zach is playing double agent. I do. Yeah. Oh, for sure he is. I've known that for like weeks. My plan going into that week was screw over spicy. But the problem with that is like, when they're like, no look, Zach and Alex are working against you and Spicy. I'm pigeonholed into who I, who I can work with. So I must work with Spicy at that point. But let's, let's just fucking smash them. Let's smash them and get us fucking out of here. These guys, they can like compete with me when it comes to these intellectual games. Like they're doing pretty good. But when it comes to social games and manipulation, none of them can hold a candle to my skill. Do you want to like share our clues or whatever? I'm, I'm fine with that. Do you want to, okay, I know this sounds kind of silly, but do you want to trade first and then share clues? Because like that way I know that you care about the clues I get, and I care about the clues you get. Do we want to tr trade rules? Yeah, yeah. Gift board doesn't contain either one or two spheres. Hints aren't going to be revealed at the end of the game, so I wanted to kind of take a little bit away from my hint. So I was basically telling everybody that gift board doesn't contain one or two. 
So that means it can have three as well. So my clue tells me that give six or five has three, but it it's really a bullshit clue that, that won't help me figure out which one of them has it because it, I, it depends on other people's clues. Grunkle, what's your fucking clue? Tell me right fucking now. What's my clue? My clue is that gift three has one less light sphere than gift two. Or to be specific, I'll read the literal exact wording I got. Hint, gift two contains one more sphere than gift three. So now I go to talk with Nolux. So me and Nolux are pretending to be allies with each other. You know, both probably equally. I'm pretending to be allies with him. He's pretending to be allies with me. It's a great relationship. So mine is gift four does not contain one or two spheres. Okay. Six is double three. Six is double three? Yeah, so. yeah. Do you have other stuff too? Random, the, the random stuff at the end of it? I know what those- What? Uh, you don't have random words at the end of yours? You have random words at the end of yours? <laughs> Zach's information was all about um, if, if the word nice appears exactly five times, then box three has one light sphere. Otherwise, box five has one light sphere. It's very easy to get into a room without me and say like, we're gonna mess up Joey this game, but it's a whole other thing to do it to my face. You know, that's, that's where it's hard. Joey, what we need to do is get that bot hit. Can you give me two light spheres? I'll pay the three so we can buy it. We seriously need it. You give me the three, I'll buy it. Okay. I and mean, you give me, sorry, you give me the two. You give and me the you two, promise me you'll say, you'll I will tell you the exact clue. Okay, the exact hint four, gift one contains four spheres. I would ideally not like to see Joey last or to see him win. I think that I have good enough relationships with everyone else, bar him, but my goal is the same as every week, which is just get through one more trial. Hey, Zach. Hi. Are you okay? Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to, I know who has which box. I'm just trying to work out what is in each box. So, Zach, who has which box right now, then? I have four. No locks, three. Alex mm -hmm. has six. Spicy, two. Joey, five. Grunkle, one. I should write that down as well. Spicy two, Joey five, Grunkle one. Oh, here's everybody. Yeah. Any traitors in the chat? <laughs> no, right. I'm very loyal. I would never- Spicy, have you worked out what your clue has, has determined? No, but can I talk to you in diner? Um, I heard from Grunkle that you, you Lux and Alex were planning on stonewalling me and Joey. Fuck. <laughs> that was just an idea that came appeared, but that's I not gonna work. I figured. I fi listen. I you know that I've got your best interests in heart. Yeah, likewise. Likewise. Here's what I think. Grunkle's uh, one contains four light spheres. So here's what's going to happen. I think I'm going to get to trade with him this round, and then I'll give it to you because you are safe. As long as you're not the deathmatch candidate, you're not going to go to the duel. You know. Mm -hmm. I'm going against my number one ally that I've been tight with since the first episode. No one's gonna see that coming. Spicy coming to me being like, Zach, are you trying to screw me over? Uh... Are you are you trading with Spicy this round, Zach? I was gonna well, I was gonna trade with Grunkle, but also Grunkle leaked to Spicy that we were attempting to stonewall. I, I don't know what he's he's really just incapable of working in like <laughs> Okay, hey, spicy. Do you want capacity? to yeah. spicy? Do you want to trade? Uh, well, I think Shall we're we? with Grunkle this round. <laughs> I think well, we're well, done with Grunkle. Well, Grunkle, Grunkle has now traded, so I'm like, I might as well keep all the options open. This is a pretty social game, so anybody could theoretically win it. At the same time, you really don't want to be the person who upsets whoever is going to lose this trial, so it's kind of important to play nice. I think that I have a good enough baseline social with everybody else. I don't think there is anybody who is against me. I doubt there's anybody who wants me to go home this episode. Grunkle's best interest to say, well, I'm doing this plan. It's not my plan, it's Zach's plan. So he was just covering his own butt. 
These are the results for round two. We now enter the final round. Hi again! Hi! Also, can I just ask, uh, did you tell Spicy about the idea that we had? Tell Spicy about pre- what? The stone wall, him and Joey? Why would I do that? Because I've he only been tra- I only traded with because he told to- trade because on. he told me that you told him. Ooh, that was really interesting. I love yeah. to hear that. Ah, that's awesome. FYI, I don't know. <laughs> um, that's funny. Part, part of me is worried that he's trying to drive wedges. That um, would definitely make sense. It is getting to about the time where people are going to do things for the sake of make like pick somebody else instead of me whenever the time yeah. comes. Spicy fucking telling Zach that they were going to try and fucking embargo them. That's fucking unbelievable. I'm reaching out an olive branch to you, and then what you do is you take it, you turn it around, and try to use it a fucking against me. You need something? Uh, well, I'm curious what you what you want to talk to me with. So admittedly, I'm a little pissed that somebody told me that I told you that people were stonewalling you and Joey. Huh? Because <laughs> I got that's what happened. Who came to tell you that? Who do you think came to tell me? I'd like you to take your best. Alex? Guess. No. Try again. Zach? Yeah, there you go. What the fuck? Which is interesting because he approached me about it before I even mentioned the subject because I didn't mention the subject. Listen, I I don't know what's happening, but I'm all cool with you. You're not on my radar whatsoever. Okay, great. Listen, I have box three. What box do you have? Would you be at least willing to trade that with me? I have box uh, number four. Four. Awesome. And I can at least tell you that box number three, I know how many it has. How many does it have? It has one light sphere. Fuck me. All right. So this has to get traded out of my hands. Yeah. Yeah. But I have nowhere to fucking trade it to. Grunkle has the gr- briefcase with one light sphere in it. So Grunkle has to trade in the final round. I go over and try to see Alex. Is Alex here? I have no clue. He's not responding. Christ, I need him, like genuinely. Alex is just non responsive. Well, Alex might not even be here then. Alex. Hello. So Nolux told me that six is double three. Uh, no, six has more than double of three. Well, they did clarify it later. I didn't fix my notes to have six is double three or more. And this kind of led to a lot of the math mistakes that I made at the end. So like, Usually like this kind of stuff, like I used to do this for fun on like airplanes. Like this can't be this, this can't be this, and you know, you have like the box, but like I'm struggling like hardcore. So like, I don't know if my math is correct. It, it could easily be wrong. Do you have the, the winning box right now and you can give it to me? Box, I can't have the winning box. You don't think you do? No, what box do you think I have? You have box six, yeah? Yes, my, so I have box six is more than, more than double three. I don't know what's been going on, but I've had like pretty bit bad brain fog for the past like two weeks. Ago. Joe's doing some math. He doesn't. He doesn't know what's going on. Can you fill him in, Spicy? We just need to figure out if Spicy has the win. I'm just trying to run through math to try and figure out if Spicy has zero or five. There's a good chance that Gift Four either contains all five or none, because we know which one has one. We know which one is two, and we know which one has four. Dude, it's like a coin flip. I don't think there's any information about four and five. Which, other than which like, box do you currently have, Spicy? I have four. Which, okay. But Joey, the thing is, if I hold on to it, then if I have the right one, then we there's not going to be the marks of victory. God damn it. Do you want me to trade with you, or I can trade with Grunkle? Well, I feel like, listen, I mean, why would anyone want to trade with you? That you're such in dangerous position. Spicy's rule was interesting, though, because it really, like, it changed what was possible. No, Spicy, read me your fucking thing. Read me your clue. Yes, it's dice, mice, ice, ice, vice, advice, nice, nice, niece, nice. 
Joey, I hate to rush you on this, but I'm going to need a decision because if not, I'm going to trade. Yeah, you just said you just said the word nice three times. I did. Yes. So there's two you, other instances of nice. There's two. Uh, which in which clues? Uh, one in Lux and one in Zach. Joey, I hate to do this, but I know my my time yeah. is running out too. Do you want to trade with me or? Man, like I like I don't like the, like I want to trade with you, but I don't have the information. And I can just. Do you want no to risk? I, I can just trade with no luck and be fine. Is the problem? Like, yeah, I want it's to trade with you. Just a matter of how much you want to risk. Well, really. what do you want? Because if you don't want this, I'm going to go trade with Grunkle. Why would Grunkle trade with you? What does Grunkle know? Grunkle is going to lose. Grunkle has one light sphere. If he doesn't trade, he's going to lose. So please tell me now. I hate to rush this, but fuck. Okay, let me think. Let me like, give me give me like another minute. Is that okay? Like, can you yes. give me a deadline? Fuck. You don't know how do we not know anything about you? Fuck. There's there has to be a nice nut. There has to be another. Two has one more than three. Two has one more than three. Two has one more than three. All right, Joey, do you want it? Fuck, oh, dude. I, how, why, why am I so stupid today? Do you want it, Joey? I need to know. Yes or uh, no? Uh, I'm not going to take it for right now, but if Grunkle won't trade with you, come back. Fuck. I think I fucked up. I think I just gave away immunity. Probably. Did you guys trade? Uh, no, I'm. I'm. I guess. No, if you, you want to trade, trade, you want to trade. Yeah, let's go okay. trade. Sure. Good, good reminder, Alex. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, hold on, no, Alex, no, Alex. Yeah. I think you're gonna win if you trade with him. I think so too. Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna give it to me, right? Yep. I think I figured it all out. I knew immediately when we saw those images that there was going to be something about them that allowed us to figure it out. And it's really hard to take time to look at these things while you're playing this game because there are no breaks. Is Alex here? I have no clue, he's not responding. So there's not a lot of time to just sit there and, and look at them. And that's what I kind of want a time to do. Alex, hello. What matters is how many little things are in it and how many sides the shape has. There's one side to a circle, and there's nothing inside of it, and that has one light sphere. The five-sided one has three things in it. Five minus three is two. The triangle has three sides to it. Three minus three is zero. And then the seven-sided one has two in it, and seven minus two is five, and so I'm pretty sure I just won. Okay, okay. I trade with Nolos. I'll trade with Joey. Okay, yeah, so Nolas and Joey, you will now be trading gifts. Who did Alex trade with this round? Zach. So Zach, you No. Can... No, I traded with Grunkle this round. I've not traded with Alex. Oh, Alex, trade with me. Alex, trade with me. I trade with Alex. I trade okay, with I'll Alex. trade with Nolux. I'll trade with Nolux. Ooh, shit, that Nolux. was fast. That was, that went in after the time went out. That Not on my out. screen. Not on my screen, it didn't. We will now reveal the results. Alex's box contains five. Joey's box contains four. New Luck's box contains three. Grunkle's box contains two. And Zach's box contains one and Spicy's contains nothing. Alex has won the trial and Spicy takes last place. So it was the number of sides minus whatever's inside of it is how many light spheres are in the thing. As soon as Brunkle said wow. that he had one light sphere in it, in the circle, I'm like, I know what the trick is now. So then I'm like, I need to get wow. Joey's. So I told Noah to go trade with Joey when you were with, oh. like when you two were in the room together. And I'm like, okay. And then Noah just traded it with me. So it worked out. Alex, please choose someone to give your mark to. If I get a mark of victory, it's going to you and I'm gonna try my best to make sure that you win this trial if I don't. Um, I'm gonna give it to no Lux. Spicy, please take Joey, Grunkle, or Zach to the duel. Before anything else, I do need to say that Alex, you're not very subtle. And regardless of what you try to do, I hope that everybody else realizes that he's not only the biggest threat, but twice in both round trial three and four, very should have went to the duel when he avoided it due to circumstances outside of his own requirements. Second of all, Grunkle, you told me that I knew about the Stonewall strategy, correct? That's what I was told, yes. And you were told that by Zach? 
That's also what I was told, yes. Zach, why did you go and tell him? Because I always want to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. That's I'm how I approach Zach. everything. I'm taking Zach to the duel. It's finally time. I, I've loved working with you, but you are too flippant, and you're trying to work every single relationship at once. <laughs> and this time, it cut up to you. Spicy has decided to take Zach to the duel. And I hope, Zach, in the events that you make it back and I don't, I hope you, you take this as a lesson that you have to choose a side. You can't put every single egg in everybody's basket and hope that just through social game, you're able to skirt by. And um, this is really rich coming from you, of all people, to say that you're playing sides. Because you are going around with everyone. You say you have one plan and you go around and you do another thing. Alex, you say he's working in your bed. It's just you're trying to get him as a scapegoat for your own strategy. Just ever since you joined in week one, you have made a big show and dance to try and attract attention at every single point. But the thing is, is you are the biggest game player here by an absolute country mile. Anyone here knows that they want to get you out. Hey, well, I mean, you have the chance. Come at the best. I thought that you and I would go far. Evidently not, but it's... If I go out, I had to come to this, but the bottom line is, not, don't you... pretend you're sorry at all. That's rubbish. Okay, we've had Demetrius. Am I gonna go that far? No, but if Spicy wants a fight, then I'll give him one. So the day has arrived. Yeah, of your own choosing. What better time than now, I suppose? Probably don't disagree, but I mean, hey, it's gonna be your undoing. I'm excited either way. Always fun to do. Uh, an elimination, especially against someone who you respect. So I'm not sure if that's mutual, but I'm glad that if anybody has to take me out. I mean, I mean, like I said to you, on a friend level, respect you, nothing but good vibes. On a game level, that's going to be something different. Welcome to the sixth duel of the Gambit Game. The fourth duel is spicy, has decided to face off against Zach. The loser will be eliminated from the Gambit game. The sixth duel will be Memory Math. In Memory Math, players will use numbers to solve for 24. Usage of notes is forbidden during this duel. The match will last up to 9 rounds. The duel opponent will select the first starting player. Afterwards, the starting player for each round will alternate. At the start of a round, two numbers will be called by the dealer. Players must remember these in all future numbers called. Then, the starting player will have 60 seconds to say any number between 1 to 100. The next player will have 60 seconds to do one of the following. They can say a number from 1 to 100 aside from the number said previously, or challenge or repeat, or solve for 24. If a player challenges or repeats, an opponent repeated a number set in the round, then the challenger wins the round. Otherwise, the challenged player wins the round. If a player stalls for 24, they must use exactly 4 called numbers to make 24. Players may only use addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication, and parentheses. Equations will be evaluated using PEMDAS or other known as BIDMES. Players cannot use the minus sign as a negative sign. If the player is correct, they will win the round. If the player is incorrect, they will forfeit the round to their opponent. The first player to win 5 rounds will be the winner and advance to trial 8 of the Gambit game. Okay. Oh, this one's thrilling! Say, so, Spicy, you did know I used to be an accountant, right? I'm quite good with mental maths, so as soon as I saw it, I was like, this could be right up my wheelhouse. My two worst categories, mental math and memory. I suck at both of those, and ma mental math especially. Anything for the challenge, huh? Yeah. We will now give both players 10 minutes to prepare with other players for the duel. Harry, right, wanna place a bet if anybody comes to join me? I'm curious. Dealer Maddie's here, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be the only one. Three people, so one of us can be like the person giving the number, 
and then one of us can like. I feel like I, I'm decent at this game, Alex. Or do you have a decent handle on it? Or should yeah, I? I I don't have. I need to get a notebook. Let me get a notebook so I can write stuff down. I was appreciative of the fact that so many people came to support me and assist me. A lot of that was focused on like the emotional side of things for me. Uh, I'm gonna do an easier one. I'm just gonna do 40 just so he can get a grasp on it. I would say 37 here. I'll say three. I'll say six. Two. I'll say 68. Solve. 68 minus 37 is 31 plus six plus three, 40. That did it. You got that one. Zach speaks like a hundred different languages, so memorizing a hundred different numbers shouldn't be as big of an issue, and I think he has a decent sense of the arithmetic as well. Me and Nolux were obviously both rooting for Zach because of what Spicy was saying. Like, we were, we both just wanted Spicy to go home, basically. Thank you guys for helping. I hope I do you proud. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Good luck, Zach. Zach, as a second duelist, you can choose two stars for this round. Um, I'm starting first, please. The reason I chose to go first was when you go to a restaurant, the server comes, you don't know what you're going to have. And then it's like, as soon as the server's like, okay, they look to you and they're like, okay, what would you like? The words come out of your mouth. Okay, so Zach will start. And um, first, I will, so for round one, the target number is 36. So I'm going to start with 18. 19. I'm going to go for 85. Two. One. 100. Let's go for 99. I'm not quite sure why Zach would do 99 if 100 was already set. I'd like to solve. My solution is open parentheses 18 plus 19, close parentheses, minus open parentheses 100 minus 99, close parentheses. Spicy is correct and scores for round one. I saw something in my head there, but I was like, my brain wasn't- Oh, hitting. I was shocked at how quickly everything just went to shambles. This is so much harder than I expected it to be. Just like, okay, it's one point. It doesn't really matter. So let's just go on to the next one. The target number is 17. 31. Let's go for 21. Or 100. Oh, this has gone away from me fast. 33. 12. We'll go with 87. 84. 17. 87. Eighty-five. I realized that the numbers that were said at the beginning were long forgotten. Just wanted to like lift a number that Spicy had given and use that to kind of create my own number. I'd like to solve, please. So open parentheses, 100 minus 87, close parentheses, plus open parentheses, 84 divided by 21, close parentheses. Okay. And that answer is correct. Wow. That was smart. That was really, really good. I would not have thought of it the way that Zach saw it. That's like the accountant and Zach coming out right. there. I think. I think if every round plays like that, Zach is going to win this game. The target no worries. number is 100. 18. 17. 5. 86. 13. 68. 23. This is the yeah. strategy that I wanted to see from Zach. Just overcomplicate it and use your pure mathematical and memorizational skills to, to mm -hmm. overcome spicy here. I like to solve. Open parentheses, 18 plus 86, close parentheses plus open parentheses 68 divided by 17 close parentheses that is incorrect 
math can definitely be a soft spot for people or not a soft spot, but like a, a trigger. I hate math. I flunked algebra too, and I had to take an easier math course so I could get by. This is when I talk about the psychological aspect. I, I see the chink in the armor. This means that Zach, you have the point. Okay. Thank you. I think I was actually able to solve there anyway. For this round, the target number is negative 24. Yeah. Uh, 69. 11. 32. 45. 23. 21. I would like to solve. Open brackets, 11 minus 32, close brackets minus, open brackets, 69 divided by 23, close brackets. So that equation is correct. This means spicy, you have earned a point for this round. I was surprised how flustered I got. And I'm not good at doing those math equations in my head. I don't think, I think spicy's better at math than he says. The target number is 120. At that point, we are, we're literally halfway through. My brain feels like it has been through a grinder. Let's go in with 100. 12. Let's use numbers that I know I'm going to be able to remember. So I think I actually had my family's birthdays and then I would just kind of jump between them. 21. 17. 15. 11. You can't take notes. You can't have anything to support. You're just there and your brain is working overtime. I'd like to solve, please. 100 minus 12 plus 15 plus 17. And this equation is correct. If we see more rounds like that, which I think we're going to see later on into this game, I think mm -hmm. Zach has got this. I feel in my mind that when you get to four, that's where you have the psychological advantage. They are then on death's door. And the target number for this round is negative 22. 78. 18. 96. 97. I am this close to being able to completely break spicy psyche. Uh, 13. 90. I'd like to solve. 18 minus, minus 96, close brackets, plus, open brackets, 78 divided by 13, close brackets. I have always struggled with simple additions. The thing I was most afraid of is messing up on that part. What is 78 divided by 13? Is that four? No. No. He got it wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think 78 divided by 13 is anything. I'm there thinking, okay, I'm in the lead, I'm in the lead. And now he's bringing in these big numbers, these really random equations. Okay, this equation is correct. How the hell did he manage that? 78 divided by 13 is something? Four? The first thing to do is to memorize division. Division is the big one. I need to find convoluted divisors to try and pull out stuff. I realize that the game can be ended very quickly each round if you just know what to leap off of. I realized that the whole thing is trying to hide your equations from your opponent. What I did, I had two big numbers that divided into a small, simple number evenly. Either three, four, or six. 68 divided by 17 is four, yes. And then 78 divided by 13 is six. So in those 10, 15 minutes, I memorized three equations involving three, three equ equations involving four, and one equation involving six. It was all about hiding what I was doing. And if I see nice, nice, nice. the point, it is now three, three.
The target number is the one four four. One hundred. Fifty. Go for twelve. Thirteen. Seven. I finally got into the mojo of it. I finally got the rhythm of the game. I'd like to solve. Spicy has said he'd like to solve. Parentheses, 100 plus 50, close parentheses, minus, open parentheses, 13 minus 7, close parentheses. Okay, this solution is correct. That means, Spicy, you have not gained an additional point. The target number is 0. 76. 21. 17. 12. 19. I'm hyper aware of all of the the big numbers he's doing, and I was trying to I was trying to preempt his strategy. He's going to do mm. seventy six divided by nineteen, I think, and use that. Because I couldn't see the strategy the numbers I ended up saying were, for want of a better word, redundant. 23. It's an equal part of exhaustion, sadness, and relief. I would like to solve. Open brackets, 21 minus 17, close brackets, minus open brackets, 76, divided by 19, close brackets. Okay, please think a second to double check this. Uh, Gamba Game came a really important time for me. A few months before, I had moved to a new country, a new city. We were still in the midst of lockdown. I didn't really know anyone. It was like a safe space for me. Irrespective of all the stuff that was going on, I was in a job I didn't particularly enjoy at that point, and Gambit Game gave me a sense of purpose. You carry so much stress with you in the real world, whether that be work or relationships or just generally life. It was amazing to just be part of a game where you can put all of that stress to one side and you can just be you. That equation is correct. Oh my god. Spicy has reached five points and wins the memory math duel. Last time I it was it was ugly how I acted and I was it after losing it was in a bad I was th thank you in all seriousness. Spicy, you picked me for the duel. I was like, if I go out, there is absolutely no way that I'm giving him my advantage because he's a number one ally, he screwed me, blah, 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 blah. Then, uh, if advantage is a thing, then you are definitely getting my advantage. Like, I'm enjoying, I will enjoy getting to know you guys, like, outside of, of Gambit Game. Um, in all seriousness, like, my next few weekends are so... It was a point where the country was starting to reopen and I was literally able to get outside and build that social circle I could capitalize on as a result of Gambit Game because it did give me confidence. It's become such a part of my life now, even long after stuff has, has wrapped up. Thank you for playing in Gambit Game. Thank you for having me.